Today I'm going to upgrade the trolling motor plug on my Ranger Bass boat for my Minn Kota trolling motor. I'm upgrading to a larger trolling motor, so I'm going to need a larger plug. I've already upgraded my trolling motor receptacle to the Marinco 70 amp receptacle, and now I'm going to upgrade the plug to match. Now this is a 70 amp plug, and for the trolling motor that I'm going to use, it's going to run a 56 amp so I'm gonna need that and that's gonna do the job. The previous plug that came on the boat was a 20 amp, along with a 20 amp receptacle. So that just wasn't gonna cut it. So I've got this new 70 amp and we're gonna get it installed. All right, so the first thing we need to do is take these screws out that are holding this on. Now, we need to remove the screws here. All right, I'm gonna set these to the side for now. And then on the back side, it's got, this will work for either a two or a three wire system. Ours is a two wire and so you can see for the number one and two, the number one wire should be our negative wire and the number two wire the positive and we're not using the number three wire. And they sent in a tool, sent along a tool in the package, I should say, an Allen wrench for, for the size that we need and then also these little sleeves here for the wiring. And so we're gonna back these Allen screws out on the number one and two receptacles so we can get the wires installed. We'll back it out just to create the clearance. Okay, so the next step, we need to cut off these old wire ends that we're not gonna be needing. Strip this wire back, strip the insulation off. And I like to give these wires a little twist. They've got a bunch of little strands in there and that just kind of keeps them held together. Okay, now we're gonna put these electrical connectors together. I'm gonna install them in the sleeves that came in the package from Marinko. And I'm gonna use some dielectric grease. Now this is gonna help prevent corrosion that can become a headache for you later. Okay, you need to make sure to remember to put your wire through your housing. So we're gonna get those installed. All right. Can use some dielectric grease on there. This is our negative lead. So we want to put it in the number one position that's negative. And when we get it in there, we're going to use the Allen wrench to tighten it down into position. And so now we're going to use some more dielectric grease there. On our wire, we're going to put our, put our sleeve on then we're gonna stick it in where it needs to go. We're gonna use our Allen wrench. 
and then screw down these set screws to hold it into position. Tug on those wires, make sure that they're not coming out of there. Looks good. And also want to double check, make sure that we've got the right wires again in the right location. Number one, our negative. Number two, our positive lead. All right, so we've got our, our positive and negative lead labeled, number one and number two. And again, this is we're gonna use the two wire system, so we're not using the third wire. And then now we need to put our plug back together. So there it is, the 70 amp trolling motor plug installed for our Minn Kota trolling motor. This is going to be a big upgrade from the 20 amp receptacle and plug that was previously installed. I've got another video that shows the installation of the 70 amp plug on this Ranger bass boat. So be sure to check the channel, Pro Wrenching. Can't wait to get it out on the water and try it out.